Go High Level just unlocked one of the biggest updates we've seen yet, outbound AI calling. This means your AI agent can call leads automatically for you right after someone fills out a form, texts in, or just requests more info. No waiting and no missed leads. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to set it up step-by-step, step, and we'll even do a live call so you can see the bot in action. So let's go ahead and waste no time and jump into it. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and jump into high level and get started with this right away. I am so excited for this, y'all. If I had an outbound voice AI agent when I first started my agency, this would have been an absolute game changer when it came to following up with all the different leads that we were working with and warm transferring to the clients that we were serving. So this is going to be an absolute game changer. Now, in order to enable the outbound AI agent, there's some things that you have to do on the back end before you get started. This is where a lot of people get confused because the outbound AI agent, everyone has access to it. It's still in beta mode. It's about to go live, but you have to do some work to access it. So instead of going to AI agents, before we go there, we're going to actually go ahead and click up here where you can switch between sub accounts and we're going to go to our agency view. So that's important. You have to go to your agency view settings to turn this on. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I have this blurred out for privacy reasons for our sub accounts, but you'll click on this blue bar right here to get to your agency view. Now, once we're within the agency view, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to come down here to the bottom left and you're going to go to settings. Now, once you're in settings, you're going to scroll down on the left side and you're going to find labs. So this is where all the new features are of go high level live and where you can activate them to start testing them out you'll notice here when you scroll down it will say activate now but it will be live in eight days and 160 days and 10 days whatever it might be so there's the agency view and then there's the sub account view now you can scroll down here for different ones you can toggle them on but for the voice outbound ai agent for this example i'm going to go ahead and go to sub account I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to find the voice AI outbound agent. So let me go ahead, scroll down here. There it is. Voice AI outbound calling. And I'm going to go ahead and hit activate feature. All right. If this is your first time doing this. When you hit activate, this pop-up window is going to come up and you are going to select the sub account that you want to activate voice AI outbound calling for. Now, if this is the very first time that you're ever activating voice AI outbound calling, you do have to go through some verification to enable that. So just be prepared for that if it's your first time um, going in here. It's a super easy process. Mine got enabled and verified within two minutes um, of setting it up. So don't worry too much about it, but just know that will pop up the first time. All right, and then when we have that activated, we're gonna come back up here to the top left and we're gonna go back into our sub account. All right, so now I'm back into the sub account and now we're gonna go ahead and go to AI agents on the left side here. So when we go into AI agents, you might've seen some of my other videos before where I set up these voice AI agents from scratch. Now this process is gonna be a little bit different, so feel free to follow along here if this is your first time doing an outbound AI agent. So you're gonna go ahead and just do create your first voice AI agent here, and we're just gonna do a custom agent so we'll select that we'll hit continue and then when this pops up we're just going to quickly fill out this information it's pretty self-explanatory you just do your agent name your business name the language and then the voice or tone of voice that you want this to talk in now once you have that information filled out you're going to scroll down here and you should see this option of inbound calling and outbound calling so go ahead and select outbound call and then it's going to have a disclaimer when they first answer the phone, just for legal reasons. And then you'll have your agent's intent message. So I'll go ahead and just fill this out real quick. So I'm going to say, I'm calling regarding the form you filled out for test business. How can I help you? So think about this. This is incredible because as soon as someone fills out a form, we're not relying on humans anymore to go follow up with these leads. We can have AI agents call these leads immediately so that when the business owner comes back in, they have an appointment booked and not just a new lead in their system. Hey, real quick, if you find this video helpful, I actually have some additional resources in the description below to help you out with your very own agency. Now, these are all completely free, so I just wanted to quickly point them out to you. I hope you find them helpful. Now, let's get back to the video. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. And then once you're on this page, we're going to go ahead and do a few things here. So first things first, I'm going to switch to advanced mode because I like to put in my own prompt for this. But first, we need to load in a knowledge base. So if you're not familiar with what a knowledge base is, this is all the knowledge that the bot has. So when you're setting this up for a business or for your own business, if you have an FAQ page about the most commonly asked questions or you know hours of the business when people can book appointments whatever it might be this is where you want to load that knowledge base 
So doing this is pretty quick and easy. If you haven't done one before, you can just hit create new right here. And then this will take you to the settings page where you'll have all your knowledge bases loaded in here. So you'll see here, I have tons of knowledge bases already loaded in here for different types of businesses. But if you need to create a new one, you can do so right up here in the top right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit knowledge base. I'll just name this test. We'll hit create. All right, then once you're to this page, you're gonna have a few options here. You have web crawlers, FAQs, and then you, you don't have to worry about tables because that's something that's coming soon. Now, I won't talk about FAQs too much. Essentially, that's just manually putting in a question and an answer. My favorite thing to do is to put in a web crawler. So what a web crawler is, if I just hit add source in the top right here, hit add web crawler, I can put in a URL of a business page and it's gonna extract that business information directly into my knowledge base. So as an example, I'll go ahead and use my own website. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paste my website right here and I'll do extract data. Now this page that I'm pulling this from is gonna see all the information on this, the, the pricing, and just any information that I have about this, this specific page and it's gonna put it into this knowledge base. Now something that's important to know, if you are extracting this from a website, make sure that you put in all the pages of the website, not just, I'm just putting in the home page for this example, because it's not gonna automatically scrape the whole website. It's just gonna do that specific page that you put in. So a lot of the times business owners will have an FAQ page on their website. So a lot of the times that's what I will load into the knowledge base. But another tip for you, especially if you're onboarding a new client, typically what I do is I have them just fill out a Google doc. Um, and in there, you can actually make the link available to load in to the web, web crawler. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. So this is an example of a Google doc for a salon, right? Just general info, questions, answers to these questions. And what you can do is you can actually go up here to the top right and hit share. And you can actually just switch your settings right here to share with anyone that has this link, copy that link, and then go paste it again to the source base right here. And it can actually train the, the bot off of this. So it'll take a few minutes to load, once it's loaded in there though, you will have your knowledge base ready to go. All right, and once we have our knowledge base loaded in, we're gonna go ahead and come back to our voice AI agents right here. We'll go to agent list and we'll go back to the agent that we were building out. Now, once we're back in here, we have our greeting message, we have our basics built out. We're gonna go ahead and go back to agents goals. And now you will see this knowledge base loaded in here. So this is our test knowledge base. And now our bot is trained accordingly. So the next part of this is going back to the advanced settings right here, and we're gonna work on our prompt now. All right, so I went ahead and just put in a prompt here. Now, if you want access to my different prompts and my different bots, there's actually a link in the description to sign up for a high level. When you sign up using that link, I send you over my snapshot, and I include all of my different AI agents in that snapshot. So you can have a much quicker start than what I had in the beginning. You can use those bots, tweak them around and basically make them your own, right? And I have them for all different types of business niches. So go ahead and take a look at that if it's helpful. So for this, essentially what we did is we put in a prompt to say, hey, you're a customer support specialist and your job is to assist with incoming leads and book appointments with them. That's your job. We went ahead and put in how to handle the call, the call logic, greetings, call conclusion, and basically gave it the step-by-step -step guide on how to handle these calls and these leads that are coming in. Sorry, I shouldn't say calls, the leads that are coming in because they're gonna be calling the leads themselves. So once we're done with that prompt, we're gonna scroll down here and we are going to connect this with actions. Now, this is important for a few reasons because you want to obviously have good follow-up after the call is completed. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and do new action. And you can do a few things here. So you can transfer this call to uh, a live person, which is amazing. This is a great use case I mentioned in the beginning for myself, because when I first started my agency, essentially what I did is I did a done for you ads agency. So we ran ads, we got leads, but what made us unique is our team would actually call these leads and qualify them and then warm transfer them live to the front desks of the businesses that we were serving because we didn't wanna just deliver leads. We wanted to deliver quality people who were actually going to book appointments. So you can do the same exact thing here, but now with an outbound AI agent, which is really cool. You can trigger a workflow, which is an automation. You can send an SMS message right after. So say they book the appointment and you wanna send a confirmation message, whatever it might be, you can do that. You can update the contact fields. 
You can uh, do appointment booking, so connect it to a calendar and much more. So there's so many things that you can do here. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and just connect this to a calendar for this example. So you can hook up calendars in high level. So if you haven't done this before, just real quick, when I come back to the main page here, or you don't have to be on the main page, just on your left sidebar, you'll see calendars. Now, when you're in calendars, you can actually hit calendar settings. And then in the top right, you can hit create new calendar once this loads up. Just give it a second. There we go. New calendar. And there's different types of calendars that you can create. I'm not going to go super deep into this. I have other videos that go that goes deeper into this, but you can set up calendars. You can go ahead and put availability time, give it a custom URL, select team members that you want it to be assigned to and everything else in between. So these are very customizable. I'll go ahead and exit out of this. But once you have that created, you can select that calendar. So I'll go ahead and just do test calendar and you can hit save and now it's connected to that calendar so once again like i said before when a lead comes in this outbound ai agent can make the call for you qualify the lead ask it questions and connect it directly to a calendar so it's an actual appointment when the business owner walks back into the business so cool so let's go ahead scroll down here you can trigger a workflow to this as well so again workflows are automations once again so for this use case what i would do is i would put in a seven day appointment booking reminder workflow, for instance. So essentially what this would do is now, once this appointment is booked, I can go ahead and trigger this workflow to say, hey, once this appointment's booked, let's trigger our automations to send out SMS reminders leading up to the appointment. So a day before, an hour before, so we can ensure that these leads are coming into the business. So that's one example. There's so many different types of workflows that you can build out on high level. Again, I have other videos that go deeper into automations but we're just gonna keep focusing on this outbound AI agent. So once we have that set up, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Okay, once you hit save, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna come in and connect it to an actual phone number in high level. So if you haven't done this before, and once again, you're a beginner, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna to come to the left sidebar. So over here on the left, we're gonna go down to settings. And then once you're in settings, you can scroll down and find phone numbers right here. And then once you're within phone numbers, you can go ahead and hit add a number, add a number right here. And then you can select and filter for the different type of area codes that you want to use and, and all that. It's a, a fee of a dollar a month. So typically I just work that into my, my service fee, but again, it's, it's barely anything. So it shouldn't make a big difference. But with that, once you're done, you do need to get an A2P verified. I'm not going to go over that in this video. I have another video that walks you through that step by step. But once it's A2P verified, your phone number will be connected and ready to rock and roll. All right. And then once you have your phone number set up, you should just do the drop down right here. You can go ahead and attach it accordingly, and then you are good to go. You can do some tests with it, make sure that it's working properly. But there's one more step before we go into the live demo of this voice AI agent. And that is we have to make sure that our automations are built out in the background to actually activate this so the AI agent knows when to call. And I'll show you exactly what this looks like. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build out a simple automation to trigger this outbound AI agent to make a phone call when someone performs an action. So I'll give you an example here. So clicking into automations, we're gonna go ahead and select a new workflow. So we'll do create new workflow. We'll do start from scratch. And once we're here, we're just going to name this. So we'll do test outbound AI agent, and we're going to trigger a workflow. And for this, we're going to do a form submitted, and I'm just going to select a random test form here. So we'll do form is, we'll do barbershop form. Sure. We'll save the trigger and then we'll hit add a step. And if you don't see this, this is a recent action because I've built some of these out already, but you'll just search for voice AI outbound call. If you don't see it, just scroll down to the bottom. It's right at the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and it will say, hey, which AI agent do you want to call to have call your leads for you? So when you select this, this will have all your different AI agents that you've built out. So I'll go ahead and hit Sam because that's the one that we were working on. And it will say, hey, what phone number do you want this to, to call from? So I'll go ahead, hit the drop down here, select the phone number, and we'll hit save action. All right, once you save and publish that, that is good to go. Now, if you want to add in more steps after the call or you want to put a wait step beforehand to you know, not have a call right away, but maybe you want to wait a minute, um, you can do that. Again, you can adjust it accordingly, add more steps here, whatever you want to do. But that's it. That's how you make sure that you actually trigger it and set it up so it actually calls and knows who to call 
based off of what information, what form they're filling out, if they're texting in, whatever it might be. So let's go ahead and actually show you a real life example of what this sounds like on when it's actually following up with a lead. All right, so real quick, if you haven't created a form before in high level, you just go to sites on the left side, go to forms, and then you can add a form and they'll have thousands of templates that you can choose from or you can select your own. So I just made this barbershop form just as an example for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to that automation, give myself a call using the example bot Sam that we built out and you can see how it works. All right, so here we go. Here's the bot calling right now. So let's go ahead and answer this. Hi, Nate. This is Master Templates AI Assistant. You can say, don't call me again to opt out. Hello, I'm calling about the form you filled out about test business. How can I help? Uh, yeah, no, thanks for reaching out. I was just curious about getting uh, a haircut. Got it. If you're looking to book a haircut appointment, I can check the available slots for you. Would you like me to do that? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you guys also offer uh, coloring at your salon? Yes. We do offer hair coloring services at our salon, along with highlights and other styling options. Now, for the haircut appointment, here are some available slots. Today, October 23rd at 10.30 a.m., 12 p.m., or 1.30 p.m. Tomorrow, October 24th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., or 12 p.m. Monday, October 27th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., or 12 p.m. Do any of these work for you? Uh, yeah, I'll take the 10.30 a.m. slot today. Just to confirm, you'd like to book the 10.30 a.m. slot today, October 23rd, right? I see we have your email as info at sosimply.com. Is that correct? Uh, yep, that's right. And we'll just go ahead and end it there. But hopefully you can see the power behind this, right? Obviously we can tweak the bot, make it a little bit better. But again, I filled out the form and it immediately called me to go ahead and see what I needed and to book that appointment. All right, how cool is that? Outbound AI agents are officially here, and I hope this video gave you a good overview of how you can get started with them. Because they're so new, this is an untapped market for you to go out and start implementing systems into businesses to start building your agency, whether it's brand new or you're expanding and continuing to get new clients. Now, if you want access to all the AI agents that I've already built out in High Level, I'll put a link in the description to sign up for a free trial of High Level. When you sign up using that link, I send over my snapshot, not only with my AI agents, but also with my automations, templates, and everything else in between to again, help you get a much faster start than what I had in the beginning. A few other resources that you have available to you as well. In the description, you'll find my completely free course that talks about how to start your agency from ground zero and then land your first client. So I'll leave that in the description along with our free community that you can join as well with additional bonuses and where you can actually come in and have one-on-one -on -one access to myself to ask any questions that you might have regarding anything about starting your own high-level agency. So feel free to check those out. And finally, please leave a like Leave a comment if you have any questions and please subscribe to the channel because we give all this content away for free. It definitely helps the channel out. I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next video.